it'll be a little bit easier uh, for me to show you what the game looks like uh, in a video than it, and it would be for like a static picture. With Fallout, 4, with Fallout 3, the graphics are so low res and the color contrast, or shall I say the color choices, um, provide a lot of contrast. Um, and I forget the term for it. It's like complementary colors. They're, it, it's really strong and you have to desaturate it. The problem is when you desaturate it, you're desaturating more colors, so, more colors, or some colors and not all colors. You're technically desaturating the whole thing, but some colors are so strong that the lighter colors will almost fade out and your stronger colors would get closer to looking normal. Um, I think it would be interesting to have a good medium res texture pack that and and I can't do this. Uh, well, not anytime soon. Or it's, it's, there's no there's no. I don't have time. There, there's no way. And so I really kind of hate saying something that I wouldn't be willing to do myself. But it would almost it would almost take um, someone to build the textures from the ground up. So they would literally have to organize the textures and then begin to recreate the textures uh, like with Fallout 4 that they where they did they, they were you know like like they did from um, actually real life textures or what you might see occurring in nature to to provide a little bit more detail and a little bit more sharpening other than something that looks like a complete blurred out rusty mess uh, anyways that being said let me kind of show you this and um, oh before I do that let me let me let me, let me show you how you're going to have to get reshade running. Um, if you look at the game, the actual game here, um, this is, of course, Fallout 3. It's the GOG, GOG version of Fallout 3. If you look at it, um, I have a D3, D9 DLL. So basically, it tricks the game into thinking that the graphics driver is that particular DLL when it is not. That is what's required to get a, a big widescreen effect, like this over here, to get this really large widescreen effect without the thing crashing out. I mean, it's still got some bugs, but it puts a, a really weird box, a black box in the middle of your screen that has to be removed. Uh, but it's because it's not really designed for widescreen, and I don't know why the designers or the developers didn't think of that. In other words, we're gonna allow you to change the resolution, even to a point to where your game has one frame a second, but still, we're going to allow you to change it. Therefore, if people who engineer their own rigs can actually um, put together the technology to bring one frame up to, let's say, 20, then we're still going to give you the ability to, to do that. I'm guessing the problem was with timing. I'm guessing that the engine is very time code sensitive, and there isn't a lot of... Uh, leeway in there for when the 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 time span between certain frames or even when it expects to get certain things done uh, exceeds set limits so and so instead of the game taking that into consideration it just assumes hey we're gonna run this on this hardware and this is what we're looking for but anyways that being said uh, if you go down here you'll take a look at Oh, it's an input. It's like D8 input. There's this right here. This is an ASA loader file. There's a bunch of them. And in order to get reshade to run, so so you can't use the D3, D9 DLL that comes with reshade. This is the one that's downloaded from the Nexus that allows you to have widescreen, uh, widescreen resolution without the game crashing. Once you put this in here, this is an ASI loader. You have to rename Reshade. You rename the D3 D9 DLL Reshade that, or uh, the D3 D9 DLL that comes with Reshade. You have to rename that to Reshade ASI. Uh, Reshade any should be fine because that stays the same. So once you rename it, when the game launches. This particular D3, this particular DLL file allows you to have widescreen. This loads reshade, which 
uh, it loads all ASI files. So if you have uh, any other thing you want to load, you can actually put it as an ASI. All right, so to get these, you would go to, give me a second here. You, it's a, uh, I believe it's this uh, 13 AG Ultimate ASI Loader, and there's a bunch of them to choose from. So these are all different files that can do ASI loaders into different games. I tried uh, D input DLL. That one did not work, but the D input eight did. So that's basically how you have to do it. You have to uh, install this file in the base Fallout Three folder. The the D or the I'm sorry the D input eight DLL the, the x86 because it's 32 bit code. It's not 64 bit code like Fallout Four. It's 32 bit code. So you want to use this, and then you. Um, rename the d3 d9 dll that comes with reshade to reshade.asi i imagine you could load it just about any i mean, i've never tried this but it loads all asa files so i don't know if you can call it my reshade or uber reshade if you just name the file and it just loads the code and the code doesn't change because you change the file name unless it's something like xedit which actually looks at functionality, internal functionality, based on what the, the application is. You can actually test that in the code to see what the name of the application is it's running. All right, so we got that going. Um, to hop over here so you can kind of see it. I'm going to be changing this shortly. Um, there's just not enough going on here. There's not enough architecture, and there's not enough things going on. It's getting close to nighttime. There's not enough going on to really take good snapshots um, unless you have really extreme close-ups. Um, reshade, I don't have a lot of things going on with Reshade. I've got um, HDR. You can actually see if you take it off, it, it does lighten everything up. And it's really a matter of personal preference. I don't think everything really is, is should be that light. Um, I try to, I've got a bunch of sharpening going on and I've got some saturation limiters going on. To try and uh, let's see what this little dude's shooting at here. Oh, another one of these. All right, let's see if we can get a, get a headshot going on. There we go. All right, so, all right, so, um, all right, so yeah, it's, there's not a lot going on. It makes it very difficult to get good shots, and the textures. I'm not really in love with the textures. Like I, I, I remember it's very nostalgic for me. I remember playing this many, many years ago. Oh, Mars adds uh, corpse flies. Um, there's already flies in the game, I think. Could be wrong. I believe there's already flies in the game, but Mars adds... Um, I believe it's just more flies that glow, have a glow map attached to them. Um, I do have a problem with bars, left and right bars on the scope. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out with scopes, things like that. Um, some of the textures look good. Some of them don't. I'll... Um, I'll post back. Uh, I'm going to be changing this here. The graphics are probably going to stay the same, but I'm going to be changing this here shortly. I'm going to um, let's switch weapons. I'm going to build it around uh, Fallout Wonders Edition. Um, I want combat to be a little bit more difficult, so I'm probably going to put FWE even here, and I'm going to kind of rebuild all this stuff. Let me go to Megaton real quick. Let's see. Let's go this direction. Megaton. Right. Yeah, we do want to travel to Megaton. And I'll show you what the protect the protectrons look a little bit different now. Man, we gotta wait. To, gotta wait till morning time. I cannot see a thing. All right. So let's go outside the gate, and you'll see this little black box that appears. Uh, sometimes it crashes. It does crash rarely. I don't know. It, it's just it's it's somewhere in the Fallout Three codes. There's just something they're not taking into consideration. Um, but these are protectrons now, so it, they look like something from Elysium or something. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Um, normally he has a rocket launcher, so I have no idea what he's got. Um, Let's put this up. All right, let's get back inside here. I, I don't know. I, the armor, I do want to make the armor high res. This uh, this is the normal armor, so it's not really um, as high res as it could be. And it's really hard to see everything at night because it is dark. Uh, let me see if I can get to where yeah. I can rest here. 
they still had a little bit of the AI going. Um, and give me a second here to yeah. get back in here. I'm going to probably redo the Megaton house. There's a, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at like the 31 most recommended mods and see if I can... Uh, Light shine on your path. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means. All right, let's see. All right, let's get in here. Let's get daytime. So that way we can uh, take a better look. See, the textures, if you can tell, everything is grainy. Rusted and grainy, and I know they were going for a rusted look. So I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a, you know, some of it is also a specular issue. I'm not really sure. I mean, it might be also like a specular issue or something. Uh, I think a lot of it's just with the textures. So it would almost take a complete redo of all the textures to get everything to even um, to even begin to look better. But this is Megaton. Um, let's drop off here. And uh, it's, I think it's, I think this is Dynamic Weathers. Uh, I'm not really sure. So I got to put some reanimation mods in here. Um, Leave me alone. Someone might see us. God, I have no idea what she's talking about. Okay. Um, let me see if she does it again. Let's see if she freaks out. Stay in the city. Travel. The people here get really paranoid when they see outsiders chatting to each other. Keep that in mind. Wow. So she's an outsider. I'm an outsider. Um, and we were chatting. What do you think we're gonna take over the town or something? Light shine on your path. Oh, I ain't talking to you. That's not happening. All right. So let's go up this way. Uh, yeah, I don't want him to tell me about how he uh, wants to split an atomic bomb in his basement. And... Yeah, no, that's not happening. All right, so let's see. so see. It's to me, it's the coloring is like way the heck too much, and there's not much I can do to it. Um, I can I can do something like this, which looks like it makes it yellow, but it. If you take a look, I mean, you're picking up details, but you're also losing details. And I'm not really even sure what this does. You know, but this is, like, one of the most, like, I've never seen anything like this. Um, let's see. Saturation. Let's see. Where's, um... I can keep dropping this thing down. See, if you set it on, if you set it back to normal, that's way, way, way too much. I have never seen anything that saturated in my life. I mean, that's like... So, to me, I could take the color out. I do, uh, I am using uh, Enhanced Weather, so that does give it a certain color. And also, these rocks and everything, there's a... Um, if we get Daltonized out, that may, it may help it some. Let's get this off. I don't have it on. Yeah, I don't think I have it on. I do not. Let me try. To see, Technicolor does brighten it up a bit. Um, that's definitely not gonna work. Yeah, that's definitely not normal. So we could try like, see, Technicolor does, but it, it, I don't know. It looks harsh. This looks too harsh to me. So I'll fool around with this stuff later to kind of. But I just want to show you that reshade does work, and. Uh, I'm going to regen the ground texture. It basically, uh, it tessellates it when I look at it. It's basically tessellating the ground mesh, which gives you more detail at a distance. Um, you can actually have more detailers at a distance. So, I, like, I, like I say, this is, you got a sunrise. Sunrise, obviously yellow. Um, and I just don't, I don't know, there's just, it's, it's too... It's too much of something. I'm not sure what it is, but um, and I'm kind of thinking as I'm talking or, or rambling, actually. So, uh, but I just wanted you to kind of take a look at this. This is what it looks like in motion. Um, I still got some ground tessellation to do. I'm gonna redo the load order, not necessarily from a graphic point of view, but uh, I'm gonna redo it so that uh, it shows. It has it has like Fallout Wonders Edition and many other things that I think might uh, improve the gameplay some. See, it's really hard to get a good shot. Um, there's just, I mean, even if you're talking negative and positive space, 
it's so hard to get a good shot of the, the Capital Wasteland. But, but anyways, there you go. That's what it looks like now. So if you decide to play it, uh, good luck, have fun. And uh, it's actually not bad. The biggest trick is uh, getting it not to just randomly crash, you know, just for the lulls. For some reason, it just literally decides for no reason, uh, which I think, based on what Bethesda said with Fallout 4, it was list, it was list, um, oh, what is this thing? It was list, uh, this, is, this is not going to be good. Can't even penetrate this thing's head. But um, but yeah, this is uh, this is it so far, and it really does remind me of Oblivion, but not. It's just it's the level of detail that they use. Uh, of course, I know it's the same engine and all that. And actually, in a, in, a, in a side note, real quick before I take off and uh, download some more mods and uh, tinker around with this, and I got some coding to do. Um, being the same engine is not a bad thing. I know I hear a lot of people complain about that. It's uh, it's it's bad because you know it it the engine doesn't mature. But I'm not looking at it as the fact you can't do FOV and all those different kinds of sliders, or the fact you got to restart your whole bloody game just when you change the resolution. But I'm talking about the idea of being able to have records. The records that define the actual game itself, define what's in the game, where it's at, those kind of things. Um, I think I think that is really nice, and I think that creates modular program or modding. It allows modding to be incredibly modular. Um, let me see. I don't know what the I don't know what the level of this thing is. I definitely don't want to hit him with a sledgehammer. Where did he go? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um that thing's running. I, I I like the idea of different records which define uh characteristics. It's it's just data. It's just, it's just, you know, an NPC says, okay, this is an NPC, and then it's just data. It's like, what's his name? What equipment does he have? Which points to even more data. Let's see if we can sack this sucker from here. Oh, I'm going to put my gun out. That's interesting, because... I don't even think we hit him. I only noticed that. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um... Like I said, I do want to get some different gameplay going on here, and I'm going to redo this load order. It's not going to be too hard. It's not going to be too hard. I'm just going to uninstall the mods and then install some new ones and see what it does. So, um, some areas look better than others. Some areas look incredibly bland. So, uh, and this, she shoots, uh, she's under a bridge. She shoots some kind of syringe or some kind of homemade something. Um, yeah. And then th uh, this backpack on dog meat actually allows him to take some damage he can actually take more damage now instead of like one hit buckling it up but all right so let me get some things done here just wanted to show you this in case you decide to mod it and if you do uh, good luck and have fun